guys so today we're gonna do something a little different like we always do uh so we're gonna do something a little different with our luke skywalker return of the jedi force link 2.0 review uh we are also going to get a look at a custom version of luke skywalker i want to call him force projection luke skywalker what you see in the black there off to the left and then, of course, he is right next to uh, our regular Oct 2 Jedi Master Luke Skywalker right there. Uh, we have Kylo uh, in the picture as well. Uh, he's going to help us set up a couple of dioramas. And then off to the right-hand side, we have a uh, three-pack Luke Skywalker Emperor and Imperial Guard set. I did a review on it a little while ago, but I wanted to uh, compare the Luke Skywalker that is in the three-pack to the new Force Link 2.0 Luke Skywalker. They are the same, Return of the Jedi, but I think we will find that there is a slight difference in the face sculpt. Let's see. So getting a quick look at our Force Link 2.0 packaging, we have Luke Skywalker here in the bubble, very cool, with his green lightsaber. Uh, we also have an illustration of the uh, character right there with his lightsaber very cool illustration right there uh kind of with the solo logo and coloring right there on the top very very cool uh per usual for the uh recent uh force link figures in the line of course we have the force link 2.0 oh. uh, your usual force link character uh little information there warnings and all that good stuff so that is the packaging for our force link 2.0 character let's go ahead and pull him out of the all package right, you guys and we have our figures out of the package guys and in case you didn't or cannot distinguish the uh difference between the two uh off to the left is going to be the force link 2.0 luke skywalker and then to the right is going to be our three pack luke skywalker virtually the same return of the jedi luke skywalker but this is the one from the three pack that comes with the emperor and the imperial guard so i wanted to compare these two because i was actually going to pass on the force link 2.0 version of this particular figure however when i saw it in the store i noticed that the face scope was a bit different or at least i thought it was when i first glanced at it so as i uh, brought it home I compared it to the uh, three pack figure that I received a few months earlier. And I did notice that there actually is a difference in the face sculpt. And we're gonna pull it a little closer so you guys can also see that. And I hope the camera can truly show the differences between these two. Let's go ahead and get a look. All right, you guys, and getting a look at both in on the left hand side is going to be your two Force Link 2.0 figure. And then on the right hand side is going to be your three pack figure that comes with the Emperor and Imperial Guard. So again, guys, looking at the face sculpt head on, there are some slight differences and I'm gonna bring it a little closer. So you can get a good look and you tell me if the 2.0 is not better than the one that was received in the three pack. I mean, I'm sorry, I know they are very, very close and they are very close, but they seem to have done more with the cheekbones. Uh, the eyes seem to be sunken in a bit more. Maybe, I, I don't know. I can't quite put my finger on it, but uh, you guys let me know down in the comments which one of these guys looks closer to Mark Hamill. All right, guys, so in regards to articulation, these guys are five POA figures, which if you do not know what that means, that is five points of articulation. Uh, so that means there is no bend in the elbow. Uh, usually that also means that there is no uh, twist in the wrist. However, with the three pack figure, that you do get a twist in the wrist. As you can see there, I'm twisting his uh, 
left hand right there. Again, the three pack figure does give you the twist in the wrist. Uh, the uh, two, the uh, Force Link 2.0 figure uh, is just standard. He doesn't uh, have any articulation uh, other than the arms swinging around in a 360 and the legs uh, going back and forth uh, and then the head twisting uh, back and All forth. All right, you guys. And as I had mentioned in the beginning of this video, I like to do something a little different. So we're actually going to do a very cool little quick comparison between right. of our Jedi Master Luke Skywalker and then my custom version of what I like to call Force Projection Luke Skywalker. All right, you guys. And to get you a close examination of my custom version of Projection Jedi Master Luke Skywalker versus its regular release. And what I really did, guys, was basically cut the long hair off of uh, this. It's the same character, same mode. Everything's the same, obviously. Uh, I cut the hair and I painted over the uh, beard, the uh, chops on the beard and gave them a skin color to match with the rest of the skin color and just left the gold tee. And again, I cut the hair and painted his entire outfit black. So again, guys, cut the hair, chopped the hair in the back, probably a little too close because you can kind of see the, the neckline right there. So that's probably did a poor job there in the back. A little better there. Kind of had to use an X-Acto knife and it may cut a little too sharp right there on that side. So I did mess that up there. But there he is. Really cool. Now, the other thing that I did, guys, was I uh, kind of cut or split the tunic up. As you know, it originally is kind of all one piece. But I kind of split it up into four different pieces. As we see on the scene on Crate, those uh, pieces kind of fly in the wind. So I wanted them to kind of have that same effect on this figure. So I kind of split them up so you can get that similar look. Of course, I left the belt brown as much as I could. And uh, but there it is, guys. That is my force projection Jedi Master Luke Skywalker figure. So guys, let me know what your thoughts are on the Return of the Jedi 3-pack and the 2.0 Force Link. Let me know what you think of my custom. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And of course, guys. Thank you.